Once upon a time, in a small village nestled amidst rolling green hills, lived a mother and her son named Adler. The village was known for its tight-knit community and its inhabitants' deep-rooted values and traditions. It was a simpler time, where people valued human connections and the bonds of family. Adler's mother, a strong and resilient woman, had endured many hardships throughout her life. She had faced death head-on when giving birth to her beloved son, and she had spent countless sleepless nights tending to him when he was sick and crying. Her unwavering love and dedication knew no bounds. She had sacrificed her needs and desires to ensure her son's well-being. One day, as Adler sat with his mother by the fireplace, she turned to him with a solemn expression. My dear son, she began, her voice filled with a mixture of love and concern. I have given you everything I could. I have nurtured you, protected you, and supported you through thick and thin. Now, as you grow older, I wonder how you plan to repay me. Adler, filled with a sense of duty, responded earnestly, Mother, when I am grown, I will find a good job and earn lots of money so that you may enjoy all the pleasures this world has to offer. You deserve nothing but the best. His mother, touched by his words, smiled gently and shook her head. My dear son, your father is already fulfilling those responsibilities. I do not expect you to burden yourself with worldly possessions. By the time you are capable of providing such luxuries, I will be old and content. There is no need for you to replicate your father's efforts. Adler pondered his mother's words, searching for another way to express his gratitude. After a moment of contemplation, he brightened and exclaimed, I will find a pious lady and marry her. She will cook for you and take care of you in your old age. His mother's eyes softened as she responded, That is not her duty, my son, and it is not the reason you should marry. Marriage is a sacred bond between two souls, a companionship that brings comfort and support as you navigate the journey of life. It is not compulsory for her to serve me, nor should you expect it. Your marriage should be a decision based on love and mutual understanding. Feeling a sense of helplessness, Adler turned to his mother once again. Mother, tell me then, how can I ever repay you for all that you have done for me? His mother's eyes filled with tears, reflecting a lifetime of love and sacrifice. She reached out and gently caressed his cheek, her voice filled with emotion. Visit me often, my son. Call me and let me hear your voice. A mother's heart finds solace in the presence and love of her child, even when distance separates us. And when the time comes for me to leave this world, give me your shoulder and bury me with honor as a symbol of your love and respect. Adler's heart ached at the thought of his mother's eventual departure. I will do all that you ask, mother, he whispered, his voice trembling. But is there anything else I can do? His mother nodded, her voice filled with unwavering faith. Pray for me, my son. When you bow before the Almighty, supplicate for my well-being and eternal peace. And in every act of kindness and charity you perform, 
Remember that your every good deed benefits me in the hereafter. Let your actions be a reflection of the love and upbringing I have bestowed upon you. Adler's tears flowed freely as he realized the true depth of his mother's words. He understood that the sleepless nights and pains she had endured while raising him were not merely a favor to him, but a means for her to seek the pleasure of their creator. Through her selfless love, she had been blessed with the gift of motherhood. With renewed determination, Adler looked into his mother's eyes and spoke from the depths of his soul. I promise you, mother, I will strive to be the best version of myself. I will fulfill the rights of Allah and all those around me. Every step I take, every choice I make, will be a testament to the values you have instilled in me. Your love and sacrifice will never be in vain. As the flames danced in the fireplace, mother and son embraced, their hearts intertwined in a bond stronger than words could ever express. At that moment, they knew that their love and connection transcended time and space, carrying them through the journey of life and beyond. And so, in that quaint village where love and devotion were cherished above all, the story of Adler and his mother became a cherished tale, a reminder of the profound and eternal bond between a mother and her child. The echoes of their love resounded through the ages, inspiring generations to come with the power of selfless love and the gratitude that could never be fully repaid. The moral of the story is that a mother's love and sacrifice are immeasurable, and it cannot be repaid through material possessions or worldly luxuries. Instead, the true repayment lies in the heartfelt gratitude, love, and kindness shown to one's mother during her lifetime and even after her passing. The story emphasizes the importance of cherishing and valuing the presence of one's mother, visiting her often, and staying connected with her emotionally. It also highlights the significance of fulfilling the rights of Almighty God and treating others with kindness and compassion, as these actions reflect the gratitude and love we have for our mothers. Ultimately, the morale teaches us to honor and appreciate the selfless love and sacrifices of our mothers, knowing that our good deeds and prayers in their name will serve as a heartfelt repayment in this world and the hereafter. The End Thank you for watching. Consider to like, share, and subscribing for more videos like this from this channel. We love you.